we have Croydon versus Crystal Palace. We've got Jollof Rice versus Rice and Peas. We have the Battle of South London in Joshua Bawati versus Craig Richard. Before we get into it, put it in the comments who you guys have win in this fight. Let's speak about the fighters. Josh Boatia has had a good amateur career. He's fought at Rio Olympics, won the bronze medal, then went on to fight on Sky Sports, be signed with AJ and 258 managed. He's had the Rolls Royce, the red carpet treatment. And rightly so, he's won the Olympics, okay? Out of all of the other top light heavyweights in the UK, he's the one which prior to them turning pro, you would have expected to have the best resume so far but you can argue that's probably not the case. Craig Richards on the other hand brought small hall shows, uh, worked his way up, not a great amateur career, took a lot of risks on the, on the way up, but right now you could argue he probably paid off because he's in a position where he's fighting against a top level light heavyweight. If he beats Joshua Boatze, my oh my, he'll be on the verge if not eligible for a world title shot against Dimitri Bivol. Keys to win for Joshua Boatze, he has to start off like a house on fire. He has to win the first two rounds and invest heavily to Craig's body. If he does that, it could provide him with a good platform in the later stage of the fight to pursue a knockout. Between round the three and round six, he just got a point score. Win a couple rounds here and there, nothing too heavy. Round seven, he has to take that round off completely. Jab, move, run. Just pretend like it's a, a, a 12th round where you've got 11 rounds in the bank. Between round 8 and round 11, Joshua Watsi has to throw hell for leather. Hell for leather. Throw the whole kitchen sink at Craig Richards in the hope that maybe something can go through. If you throw shit out at the wall, something's going to eventually stick. And that's what the plan that Joshua Watsi has to employ. Once it goes through, he has to pounce on that opportunity, which is he's good at it, to be fair, um, in finishing the fight once he gets his opponents rocked, even to the slightest. Those are the tactics for me, I think, that Joshua Watsi should employ. Keys to victory for Craig Richards. First of all, he has to be extremely composed in this fight. He has to stick to his game plan and listen to the coaches and not get taken away from what Watsi wants him to do or what the crowd you know, is saying. He has to be in like a zen mode. Stick to the game plan, stay behind the jab, stay composed. And I think that that is Craig is best option to win this fight. Let me talk you through it. First two rounds, stay behind the jab, on the outside, keep it moving. No, no understated risk, do that part. If you, you know, if Craig, if Boatze comes in the inside, clinch, keep it simple. Now, between round three, and round six, up the tempo just slightly, just slightly. Turn up, turn the heating up a little bit, okay? After each round, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. What I mean by that is, first couple of rounds, jab move, one, two move, simple. Three of three to five, or three to six, double jab right hand, one, two hook. Double jab, like, I don't know, faint, jab to the head, jab to the, like whatever two to three punch combinations you've got to do between round three and six, do it. Round six slash seven, pounce on Boatzi, jump on Boatzi. Boatzi's stamina is not going to be great in that middle part of the fight. It's not going to be great. And that's the moment to seize and, and really pop his ties, put a dent in him between those middle rounds. Now, Chances are, Boatze is very durable, very, you know, he's got a heart of a line and I doubt that he's going to get knocked out in those rounds. So in the in the last maybe quarter, last third of the fight, you've got to effectively fight how Tyson Fury fought against Klitschko. Shit housery. Jab, clinch. Jab, one, two, clinch. Boatze would want to take a lot of unnecessary attacks and his defense will be wide open, wide open. Only throw power shots if his goal, if, if you are 100% confident that it will land and that you've got an escape plan afterwards. So let me give you a, a scenario. Boatzi, like, he says, you know what, F this, bro, we're going for it, yeah? 
We'll go for it. We're, we're putting our heart on the line. It is what it is. Starts throwing a barrage of attacks. A barrage of attacks here. Yeah? Could be too that he takes a pause. He's, de he's, de he's a bit tired. He's de he defenses like this. If his arms are low enough for you to straight right, rock him back a bit, double jab, move, fantastic. If Watsi's arms are a little bit higher, that he could catch whatever you're doing, and then one, two, that's a problem because I think Watsi, if he catches Craig on the counter in that circumstance, there is a high possibility that Craig may be rocked by Watsi's uh, you know, power punch and if Watsi pounces on him afterwards and stops him. That is a possibility. So you have to, in those circumstances, you have to be once you once once you make that uh, that you know that power shot, you have to be confident that nothing power is going to come back. If that makes sense, and you have to have an escape plan in those circumstances. Drag it late, point score. Don't take unnecessary risk. Drag it to points, and win. And you know, and win and win on points. Now, my personal prediction. I think that Craig is going to win this fight on points the exact way in which I described. Starting off winning the first couple of rounds, getting those in the bag, you know, round three to round six, up in the tempo slightly, maybe losing one round in between those ones. But the last half of the fight is going to effectively jab, move, run, and have that odd highlight moment where he may have rocked Watsi slightly. That's how I think Craig is going to win this fight. Put it in the comment section below what you guys think, who you guys have winning. Peace and prosperity, and I'm going to see you in the next video. Peace.